Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to install LD Player and set up this fantastic Android emulator. They are claiming that this is the best Android emulator to play mobile games on your PC. It has Android 5.1 and apparently it has perfect compatibility and top speed multi-windowing. I'm now going to go ahead and download this emulator. To start off with, all you need to do is head on over to the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you now need to click on download and you need to go save file. Depending on how fast your internet connection is, depends on how long this file will take to download as it is quite a big file size. Once LD Player has finished downloading, you now need to run the setup file and we can now click on customize and we can choose the location of where we would like to install LD Player. I am happy for it to be installed on my E drive. We can now go ahead and press install now. Once it has finished installing, we can now click try it now. You do need to allow the program to access the internet on your firewall if it does pop up. And there we go, LD Player is completely installed on my computer and this is what it looks like. Straight away I do like the GUI, it does actually remind me a bit of Nox Player. On our desktop we have our system apps and we have LD Store and Play Store. I'm guessing LD Store are all the games that are currently 100% compatible with the emulator, which means if you install any games out of that store, then all the controls and everything will already be mapped for you to work on LD Player. If we go to the top right hand corner and click on the three lines, we can go to settings and let's just have a little look at a few of the settings. Straight away we have our resolution, we have our CPU, RAM and disk management. We have the basics, we have properties, network, shortcuts and game settings. Straight away I can see it has PUBG Mobile here which obviously everyone loves at the moment and it does support 2K which is great news for everyone that loves to play in 2K graphics. It also has enable HDR which obviously makes the graphics a lot better for PUBG and it also has PUBG Army down the bottom here. I like it how they have added extra settings for PUBG Mobile. I think that makes the emulator even better and I will do a separate video to this video testing out how well PUBG Mobile runs on this emulator compared to Tencent Gaming Emulator. That will be pretty interesting. And that is basically it for this video. You do need to sign in on the Play Store if you would like to download any apps and games on the Play Store by simply obviously clicking on the Play Store and now sign in into your Google account. If you don't have one, then you can click on create a new account or you can do it on your web browser by going to google.com. I hope this video has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.